Kids Peeps, Dr. Lynn in the house with my coffee crossing. We are going to talk about the Delta variant. We hate it. Go away, Delta. Why is this puppy so infectious? Well, let's look at this. This is some really cool science, so we're going to nerd out a little bit. So we know that this SARS-CoV-2 virus, remember it has those little spike proteins, that the really bad mutations that we see are in these little guys, okay? And what we have seen is throughout the pandemic that these mutations within the spike proteins make it more infectious, okay? Because that's, remember the spike protein is like, that gets harpooned right into that ACE2 receptor. We've talked all about that before. So if we look back at the history of these mutations and kind of the infectiousness of them, let's start with the initial Wuhan, okay? The Wuhan China one. It had an R naught of like two to three, all right? And if we compare that, let's, the R naught, remember guys, that's the reproductive number. That's the number that one person will infect with this particular disease. So the R naught of the Wuhan, two to three. The R naught of flu, typically like a half, one and a half to two. The R naught of chicken pox, it's a bad deal, not, all right? So way, way infectious, not as infectious as COVID. So the flu, not as infectious. Sorry, I want to make that clear. So we have this Wuhan of this lower R naught. And then after about a year, and they were multiple, multiple mutations over the course of this year, okay guys? But really the one that got us, okay, the one that got us was this UK or alpha variant. And that's the one that just, remember? This summer, it was like spring in the UK, and then it was like more summer here. So we had this um, slight increase in this R naught, okay? So just a little bit over the three. Then after a few more months, we started seeing this crazy variant called the India variant or Delta. And it, guys, has an R naught of six to seven. So that means one infected person can infect six to seven people. So we're gonna kind of look at what this, um, what this uh, exponential growth looks like as compared to the original one, all right? Also, with this India uh, variant, it has, it causes a hundred times the viral load in us. So it just, it just so infectious because the more viral load that we have, the more we're gonna spew it out and infect others. So if you look at the initial Wuhan, that's like an Elmer's glue, right? That's like the Elmer's glue, ACE2 recept, the harpooning. It's, you know, it's pretty sticky, but you know, it's not terrible. And then you have this UK variant, where it's a little bit more like rubber cement. So a little bit stickier into that ACE2 receptor. Then we have the Delta, which is literally like Gorilla Glue. Good luck guys, it's Gorilla Glue. This is the Gorilla Glue variant stinks. So let's look at this difference between these two or not. So we have the original Wuhan and now we have this Delta. So there are not right two to three initially. That means one person can infect three. Those three people infect nine. Those nine people infect 27. That's called exponential growth. Then if we look at this one, this puppy, or not a six to seven. And I went on the low end of this just to show you the magnitude of the impact this is having in our community and how quickly it is just causing chaos and upheaval in our lives. One person infects six, six people infects 36. 36 people infect, infects 216 people, all from one infection, this guy, right? So when we have an R naught that is that high, one of the main ways to decrease disease burden within our community and to do it very quickly as to not overwhelm our hospitals, as to not overwhelm healthcare workers like us, because we're over it. And also, you know, just to prevent um, death and hospitalizations and shutdowns and mask mandates, it's by vaccinating. We've got to get a good number of people vaccinated in our community. Why? Let's look at this. So we know that the vaccines, and this is, I'm using maybe more Pfizer data here, you know, a little less than 90% efficacious against this Delta, which still is not terrible. 
So what does that mean though? If we have too many unvaccinated individuals within a given population, then we will have way more breakthrough cases with people that are vaccinated. And that's why we're seeing breakthrough cases. People are like, well, I don't understand, we shouldn't have these things, we're vaccinated. Well, the problem is, is that this puppy is going all over. And so if there are not enough of us vaccinated, then we are not gonna be protected as well, okay? When there's a large number of people that aren't vaccinated. Facts, guys, no judgment. I'm just explaining how this works. So around 90% effectiveness, that means at least one in 10 could have a breakthrough infection. Let's look at Floyd County, okay? Let's just look at Floyd County. The uh, percentage of people that have had one dose, 52.2%. What about two doses? 48.1%. Actually, this number has gone up in the past few days, so that's made me happy, because I think our two dose number was like, like 45% just a few days ago. So that's good, we're, we're getting it up there, guys. And when you look at the Spizer against the stinking Delta, there's an 88% uh, effectiveness against the Delta. That means an eight-fold reduction, eight-fold reduction in symptomatic disease. That's a 25-fold reduction in hospitalization and a 25-fold reduction in deaths due to the stinking virus. And as of right now, the severe adverse reactions of these vaccines is at 0.001%, guys. So still awfully low. And for you parents out there, the best way you're gonna protect your kids is getting vaccinated. Because when we have increased infections in adults in our community, that means we're gonna have more kids infected. Yeah, many more quarantines. And none of us like that. So anyway, I hope this really helps you understand um, Delta and why we hate it so much. And I hope you guys are having um, a nice day because it's really sunny and you get to be outside and stuff. So Dr. Lane signing out. Love you guys.